Right, I've calmed down a bit now. I've picked the bike up. Let's see what putting a brick under the side stand using the wheel spin causes in damage when it falls over. In other words, don't you do what I've just done. <sighs> see, I'm not perfect. Right, let's go and have a look. Okay, so damage. I've not I've not altered the damage by the way, I've not touched it, but a lot of this stuff will buff out I think, and some of it won't. Um mark there on the exhaust. Um a bit of all salt bit of auto soul might do solve that. Uh, some scratches here. Um eh, you know. Bit of light sandpaper on the aluminium, polish it up, probably won't notice. Not so bad. Foot peg fine. Brake lever, fine. Now we get to the damage. Of course, the plastic. Uh, so, some quite coarse scratches there. What to call the weight. Scratches here. And up here. No cracks though. No cracks in the fairing. Scratch there. Bar end, again, bit of buffering. Probably saw that out. Clutch lever, a few scratches, not broken, not bent, not snapped. Um, and somehow I've managed to knock a chip out of my double bubble. Uh, there's actually a little hole there now. Don't know how that popped out, but anyway it has. Um, and that cost me £21. So that's £21 to replace the double bubble. Uh, I've got paint that, that's the right colour for this. Um, However, I'm not a very good painter. Um, it's not my expertise. Um, so, um, if anyone knows the best way to resolve this without having to buy a new piece of plastic, uh, let us know. Because um, if I do buy another piece of plastic, it's going to have to be matched to the rest of the bike. I don't know what it's going to cost. Uh, <laughs> not happy. I'm not happy. What an idiot I am. There we go. How annoying is that? Right. Well, I've not really got anything else to say now. About wearing. Ride invisible. And uh, see you soon. Bye.